These are the results of the Facebook ads I've been running. So far, I'm very happy with these results. You can see the average cost is 39 cents per result overall, which is a lot lower than I've seen on a lot of other events. If you're doing a local event, you can often expect a dollar to five, even $10 to get someone to join your event. I'm doing this to a national audience in a big targeting category in the events online. So this gives me the ability to get a lot cheaper joints. At the same time, you can see there's a big difference in how much I'm paying per event response. So for example, this 83 cents per event response, this is to my remarketing on my website. So I turn that off right now. That's much higher than the others. I don't want to keep paying that. And this one, similar story here, 72 cents per event response. This is just targeted on US Call of Duty. So I take that off because I don't want that running either. So I refresh the view and then it shows me the two that are inactive. Now you'll also have noticed I haven't spent any money on friends of the event yet. So I could turn that off, but there's not any real incentive to do that at this point. So now I've got these other interests over here. I've got US Jerry Banfield, 30 cents per response. So that's only a dollar a day. I probably want to turn that up to $2 a day at this point, maybe even 250 to get a significant increase and see if I can keep my costs the same. And then for these, I want to now turn each of these up. I just paused $6 a day up here. So these, I want to try these at $10 a day each and see if they will continue to get the same low cost event responses for $10 a day instead of $5 a day. Now, uh, this is a good time to optimize. There's several days left to the event. What I want to do is be able to scale up a bit as the event approaches. So you'll notice at first, I was getting the lowest cost up here, and now the last few days, the cost has went up a bit. So if I look at yesterday, I can get a little bit different picture. You'll see that the Treyarch and Call of Duty, that was 63 cents yesterday. And then on the Xbox One, that was 36 cents. So I definitely have good room to scale up on the Xbox One. And yet, I don't know for sure which one's definitely going to work the best. Now, yesterday, the US Call of Duty was actually cheaper than the Treyarch. What I can do, I can go back to the day before also and take a look at that and see how those event responses were. Now on this day, the US Call of Duty was really expensive, it got almost nothing done. Meanwhile, these categories up here did pretty well. So it's not exactly clear if you look day by day where I'm going to get the best results in terms of the targeting. Now you can see some trends on this. You can notice here the US Call of Duty did very bad on this day also. And then each of these did pretty good again. So day by day, sometimes things will vary a bit. What I've got though, I've got over the lifetime of the campaign here, I can see that overall, I've got these two running at 30 cents per response, and then I've got the Jerry Banfield at 30 cents also roughly. So I've got these scaled up a bit now, so I'm spending a little more, and yet I've paused some of the more expensive areas I'm in. I can also look at something like the cost per post share to see if I'm getting any other good results out of these I might have missed. So I'm actually getting page likes out of both of these also and getting post comments for a good cost. That's really good. That's a good indication of how good the ads are working. I'm getting some post likes on these also. So overall, very happy with the performance of these. I can even check performance and clicks and see the click through similar on all of them, except a little higher here. The cost per click, even a little bit higher on Xbox One. The CPM is similar on Call of Duty, so I really could actually leave the US Call of Duty on, even though it hasn't performed that well. For $5 a day, I can leave it on and see how the event response does. It had some good days, and turning this $10 a day up might increase the cost per event response on the others. So I want to get as many joins as possible. At this point, I can just afford, based on all those other statistics, to leave the US Call of Duty on 
and see if the cost goes up or down relative to these other two now. So this is an exact science. There's a lot of trial and error with this. The bottom line is I'm happy with these results. I've spent $95 on this. I've got 248 event responses out of it. So the question is, can I spend a little bit more as the event approaches and try and push it to the absolute maximum here? We'll find out. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope this is useful in looking at optimizing ads for event responses.